Hey, welcome to Facebook Live 47. I'm here with my son, Will, and we're looking forward to answering your questions. But if you could just be patient with us, give us a, just a few minutes to let people join up, we greatly appreciate it, okay? Look at your hair. You need a haircut, son. I know I do. I got an appointment on Thursday. Yeah, I can always give you a haircut. No, not again. <laughs> Last yeah. time you gave me a haircut, I looked like that. Oh, you got a cute, it was a cute like, shaped head. He waxed it. Slick. Waxed it? No, I bick it. I bick it. How you doing, um, CC San? Hello, mm. Alyssa Tilly. How you doing? Welcome, guys. We're glad you joined us today on Sunday. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Carol. Hi, Tammy. How you guys doing today? Enjoying. And listen, I want to thank all you, all you nice folks for wishing me the happy birthday because my birthday is on the nineteenth. I'm gonna be fifty-three years of age. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're 21 now. You can be 22. Yeah. Or another year. Hi, Terry. Uh, Melissa, how you doing? Tammy, Hi, Tammy. Good, good evening. And please subscribe. Please, you know, share. We want to reach as many people as we can. Hi, Audrey. Aubrey. Aubrey. Hi, Dave. Dave. Hello, Michelle. I like when they have the pictures. Let me see. Hi, Can you answer Danny. a question? Michelle has, wants to know who are her spirit guides. You have one spirit guide by the name of Ronnie. Ronnie. Um, let me see. Hi, CC. CC asks, my question is, will Al Albin overturn my case I've sent in? I guess that's some county. I don't believe so. Albany. I'm sorry. I don't Albany. think it's going to go that way for you. And everyone's wishing you happy birthday. Hi, Amber. Hi, hi, Rob. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Michelle. Wow, look at all those harps. Yeah. Hi, Kelly. So you want to start there? Yeah, let's start. Okay, from Glenna Cunningham. Happy birthday, Chris. Hope you have a wonderful birthday and many more to come. My niece, Kim, had gotten to a quad accident October 2018. We almost lost her. She was on life support for two weeks. She pulled through. Was my dad with her? Does, she, does he have any messages? I think absolutely your dad was with her. Um... This is a quad. This is a uh, off-road vehicle. Um, yeah, I think she's doing well. I think she'll continue to do better. I think she's very much of a survivor and a fighter. And I don't think the father here is going to leave for quite a long period of time just making sure everything's okay because sometimes daddies always look after their young ones, and that's the case here. Uh, from Ann Sim Simmons. Happy birthday, Chris. Wishing you the best that life has to offer. I was wondering about my love life. When will it happen and... When will I meet someone? Happen is going to come from you because you're going to activate, as we know. And timeline on that, I think it'll be about the month of October of this year. And I believe the gentleman will have dark hair, dark eyes, uh, dark uh, goatee, kind of like I grow, but very thick, very dark, and light olive skin. And I think you guys will really hit it off together. So please get out and activate so the timing can be accurate because it doesn't come to your front door. I don't think yours is that dark anymore. <laughs> Did you hear this, you guys? Did you hear this? I gotta put up with you on Facebook Live with you talking about my gray hair. Mary, uh, Mary Pickle, happy birthday, Chris. <laughs> Would you please tell me my spirit you, guide's name? Your spirit guide is a male by the name of Marcus. I got him good there. Hey, you have my, you have my genetics, you okay? You, you uh, tell him he has my genetics. All right, Paula Wellborn. Hi, Chris. What are my life themes? Go a little bit further back. It's a, <laughs> Primary theme, I believe, is experiencer. Secondary theme, I believe, is loner. Okay. And you're on track with both of those themes. Amanda Luis. Hi, Chris. Will my future ever get better financially, and will I ever find my Mr. Right? Well, you know, we try to stick it to one question so we can help as many people as we can. So I'm going to let it slide this time. But as far as your financial future, I don't think it's going to get better till the end of 2020. And that's just because of a lot of hard work. And your Mr. Wright comes in around the middle of 2021. And that individual has blondish, reddish hair, uh, kind of auburn color. Uh, longer, longer. Looks, um, not the stereotype, but looks uh, about this like shoulder length. Uh, I think he does a lot of things if and around the beach. He seems to be an outdoors person, so that'll work great for you. Um, so let's answer this. Amy Watkins, my best friend, has gone. has been gone for almost a year. Is she okay? Is she around and her is she around me and her sister? I believe that she is absolutely okay. I don't I don't think there is anything to be concerned about with this. So I think we're okay. Shanna Shannon Leal was my mom's passing on purpose or accident? 
I believe it was an accident. I don't think that anywhere close was she in the right state of mind. Okay, let's go back to these. Karen Cambridge, hi Chris. I would like to know if I am on the right path with my career and who is my spirit guide. Sorry. Let's do the path, yeah, absolutely with the work, absolutely. The only thing other than this would be like the justice system other than what you're doing and your spirit guide, I believe goes by the name of Gwyneth. Uh, Bianca Dove, Hi, will I find my way job purpose for for being here, please? I believe you'll find your life purpose, but I believe it's more into the healthcare field. So I do believe you have to go back and do some schooling. So take your time with it because there's a lot of years here that you'll work, very few years that you'll be in school. And it's important, I believe, to just do and be happy with what you're doing. That's why I'm so grateful to God and very honored to be in this position because when I do readings every half an hour, I'm in a different place in the world. So I actually can learn a lot with the individuals because technically I'm kind of like a messenger. Okay, Eva Crawford, hi Chris, can you tell me if I'm headed right down the right path and do you see any more children in my future? No more children because that's your own free will of choice and yes I believe that you are headed down in the right path and you guys have to understand I go by what you say. If you ask me a specific question I'll give you a specific answer but when you ask me a question if you're going down the right path I don't want to verbalize exactly what is this doing because that's personally to you. So I want to keep that with you. That's why I answered the way I answered, just to give you a little bit of heads up. Diamond Francisco, hi Chris. Uh, I want to know if my husband is always around us. Not always, but I think he's not more than yelling distance away. And I think that uh, definitely he's in his last life. You're in your last life. So ultimately when it's your time, which is not going to be for many, many years, he's going to be right there for you. So that's very positive. Favilla Bortolini. Hi, Chris. Should we sell our rental property? Absolutely, yes, because I don't think anybody's going to take care of it as well as you guys do. And I think you just get so down over the fact that every time you see it, there's something else wrong, there's something else torn, there's something else broke, there's something else this, something else that. So, yeah, I would definitely get out of this. Samantha Dunez, happy birthday, Chris. Mm -hmm. my, my marriage has been very stressful. Will it ever get better? Well, I would say that that's up to you, and I, forgive me, I mean no disrespect, but it's as good as it's going to get, and if I was in your shoes, I would probably already file because it looks terribly difficult, and it looks like you're completely alone inside of this relationship, and I know you don't want to tear through the finances and things like that, I get it, but I think you've already gone through this so emotionally so many times in your mind, I think when you actually go forward to actually do the divorce, it's going to be easier than you ever anticipated, so that's the way the belief I believe is going to go. Uh, Lily Jackson, happy birthday, Chris. Thank you. Can you tell me if I had if I had a life before with my daughter? Yeah, I think more than one. I think about three. I think she was an aunt to you. I think she was a younger sister to you, and then also a mother. So this is a young one that's going to be telling you what to do. So if you know the background of this, it's okay. But somebody looking upon you guys talking or arguing, they'd be like, "Wow, this little girl has a lot to say." But I think if they know the whole basis behind it, it's lo very loving. Ray Colborn, hello Will and Chris, how you doing, Ray? I was wondering how my mother is doing on the other side. She's doing great. I mean, there isn't a loved one in 37 years of my practice that they, they're not allowed to worry. They're not allowed to get mad, upset, irritated, agitated. You can't cut your finger and say I'm bleeding. They can't do any of those things. We do all that here in this learning boot camp that we're in. They have it so much easier than we do. Take 90 years of our life, it equals about one week at a time to them on the other side. So, they don't. They, they can't miss us. They see us all the way through it. I mean, they know what we're going to think and what we're going to do before it becomes a thought process in our mind to do it in the first place. So they're always doing really, really good. It's us here that can, can't remember too much on the other side because, quite frankly, there has to be that survival mechanism in us or we wouldn't be staying here. Everyone would say, sorry, got to go home, goodbye. Then there wouldn't be that much purpose for this life. That wouldn't be good because this is where we learn. Chrissy Max Sanders, hello Chris, just wanted to say you are amazing just like your mom. My question is, will my husband and I be moving back to his hometown this year? Yeah, and I think he's just going to kick his heels and jump for joy. He's a big guy, but I'd like to see him skip down the street. I mean, that would be, I would do that with this guy, you know, because we're kind of quick clown around. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to have a great time because he's so up and he's so happy. It's got to trickle down to you because... It's just so much that's going to be off your shoulders. You're going to feel like a ton has been lifted off you guys. I, I just hope you can do it sooner. Um, Wanda Johnson. Hello, Chris. Recently, my little girl dog, Belly, passed away. We had her over 18 years. A few weeks ago, I dreamed of my... 
deceased mom. Is my mom trying to tell me that she is taking care of Belly till I see them again? Absolutely, because anybody that knows this little uh, doggy of yours is much like a child to you. And I'm a big animal lover myself. We got Penelope and Thor and my little cat. Dude. Yeah, he loves his oh, cat. Oh, I love my cat. But anyway, uh, I know where you're at with this. And of course, your mother knows one of the closest things to your heart and wants you to know that it's going to be A-OK -okay because this of us answering your question, I don't believe in accidents. I think everything is really meant to be. So I'm hoping I give you the little bit of the information that your mom has the dog. Dog's doing great. You will see the dog again because I'm convinced if heaven didn't have animals, then it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the heaven. But heaven does have it. All, all animals go to heaven. We, we wrote a book, my mother and I, about it. Carrie Matthews, I was wondering if I will find another job working in foster care and adoption casework. Thank you for everything you do. You're welcome. Yes, I believe that you will, but it doesn't look like that's the next job that's in line. I believe that you go into some type of pharmaceutical for a bit. You hate it, but I think the pay is good, but you still hate it. And then you'll go into the adoption and that kind of thing, and that's really your forte, and that's really what you'd be happy with. But you got to look at it until about the middle of next year before that kind of lines up with you. Kelly Filbert, happy birthday, Chris. Thank you. My friend passed suddenly in November. Did she know she was sick? I think she knew she was sick. I think she knew she was going to go. I don't think she knew how she was going to go, but I think she was very open to it. I think that this life was almost an option line for her to where technically she didn't have to do it. And I think her time was completed, so she's gone home and she doesn't have to come back and do it again, thank goodness. I know this is my last. I'm not coming back. You can't give me all the tea in China to do it. But I love my life, love my family, love my clients, love it all, but I'm not doing it again. Um, Heather Moore. My son's girlfriend is having issues with their numbness and weakness in her arm and leg. She is going. She will be going in for tests. Is this any anything serious? Do you have any idea what it could be? Well, I think she has kind of like a double crush. So in the neck area, I think there's something pinched, and then in the wrist area, um, I also believe that she's fighting through an autoimmune system issue. It looks like what the Epstein Barr virus would be like chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia. Far more fibromyalgia because you experience numbing the limbs with fibromyalgia, not chronic fatigue. So I'd want her to go to Mayo Clinic and be tested for fibromyalgia and then also tested for um, corporal tunnel within the hand area. Okay, hi Chris. Thank you for all, your do all you do. Did my husband and I make the right move to Georgia? Do you see us moving to Argentina in the future? My husband is from Argentina. Um, Argentina is definitely going to happen. And I think uh, the people and the... Just the way of living will just be right up your alley and you'll really, really love it. I think you're where you're at for the next couple of years and then I believe you'll get yourself there and I think you'll really have a great fit with it. So please get back to us, let us know how much you love it because I think you're really going to love it. I don't think you'll like the process of the move, but once you get there, everything will dial right in for you, dear. Mike Weber, hello Chris, just wondering if my company will succeed or should I do something else? Well, that depends on you. It will succeed if you're willing to stick in two years from today's date. That means working seven days a week all the way through. If you can do that, it will succeed. But that's a lot to ask, and I know it. But if I was in your position, you are much better being the one to lead as opposed to follow. You like being in business for yourself. This will work. It'll do good for the people. <coughs> if I was you, I would dig my heels in and I'd do it. But the choice is yours. If you're unwilling to give it two years, seven days a week, then you better get out now. Alyssa Tilly, hi, my grandmother passed almost a year ago in a car slash train accident, train accident. I know she is happy, but I wonder what are the things she does on the other side? Well, she teaches, she instructs, she does an awful lot of traveling around. I mean, in our life, we have trains, planes, and automobiles. It kind of sounds like that movie, Trains, Planes, and Automobiles. But she's able to wish herself there, and she works a lot in orientation. That means she helps everyone from this life to heaven and from heaven back to this life. That's got to be really busy. That's what, My mother does a lot of that on the other side, so I know it's busy. But she's happy, she's content, and she's, wondering very, she's doing very well and constantly watching over you guys. Um, can you see that clip? Yeah, Barb Landis. Can you tell me wh why my one grandmother is always distanced from me and never includes me? I don't know if it's exactly the way that I see it. I believe in a lot of cases you've raised yourself. You've been very, very, very independent. You've done a lot of your own thing. Therefore, there hasn't been that much of attention to you. And you've kind of raised yourself, so to speak. And she's kind of curt. She's short with her words. She'll say no or yes. It's very to the point. My mother was a lot like that. 
and God love her. She's the kindest person around. So I think a lot of it is you do your own things. Therefore, that you'll need that much guidance. Uh, Mary Van Buskik. Sorry if I mispronounce that. Is there a move in my future? There is a move, but it's not very distant from where you're at now. I think it's in the same general geographical location. So to me, that would be not more than maybe five or so minutes from where you're at. So sometimes those moves are the hardest. Um... Shelly Marie, is is my boyfriend Pop about to pass because he's not doing good? He's 92 years old. I think he's out of an astral projections now with his out-of-body experiences. And once he starts speaking about his mother and you were to change the subject, he goes back on speaking about his mother, I think it'll be a few hours from that point in time. I think it's very, very soon, though. Um, Joyce Sullivan, my hi, my dad has a dementia and in a facility, please tell me, will I be able to get him home? He doesn't belong there. This is hard because I don't think that there's a lot of will that he has. Um, I don't think he really wants to be here anymore. I know how you want to be there. And um, a lot of times what you want and what we get are two different things. So I don't think that this is going to work out the way that you have it planned. But you must understand it's going to work out what's happy and what he wants. So I think he's preparing to go. So I just want you to be ready for that, okay? And my heart goes out to you. We'll keep you and him in our prayers. Um, Dora Poza, hi, Chris. My mom passed away seven months ago. Would like to know if she's around me. I miss her so much. Thanks. She's around in the early evenings. That would be around 7.10, 7 to 7, about 7.29. You'd see the lights flicker. You'd see different things happening throughout the house, which will be the energy from her. You have a lot of, of electrical currents that also run through you too as well. So it's going to be active with her. She's going to stay around, come and go. So that's nice. Nicole Roving, um, I never I never have dreams with my deceased son anymore. Is there something more I can do to visit him? As hard as it sounds, try to let it go. Try to put it in the back of your mind and try to let God and everything else take the forward pace with this. It will come in more. You're just trying way too hard putting too much energy into it, you've got to be able to relax and let this happen on its own. You're trying to force feed it to happen. So I want you to pay attention to it from, from looking upon it, but just let it naturally come in. You're just working at it way too hard because you want it way too bad. So just let it come in. It'll happen. You've got to give it a good six, eight months, but it work. Um, Bambi Stanger, <clears throat> is our financial situation going to get better? Well, it's getting worse before it gets better, and that's right now. So I would say by... July, August of this year, it'll be about 20% better. Then by the end of the year, it'll be about 30% better. So you're, you're, you're going in the right direction. It's just been a long road, and it's, it's, it's been hard, but it's going to get a whole lot better. And I want to thank you all for tuning in for us today. I want to thank my son for helping me with the Facebook Live. We're going to be back here next week, next Sunday, to do the same thing with you guys because we love you guys. So please remember to share, like, and even subscribe. We're working on right now the YouTube channel to where we can get people on and uh, give out the free readings as long as they, you know, write the, the thing that they can, people can hear it and people can see it because so it won't be private. We're working on that diligently right now. And remember, we're not the most, well, uh, as far as technical <laughs> stuff, <laughs> as far as the technical side goes, I'm the psychic here. I'm not the technical one, but we're getting through those problems and we'll get to you, reach out to you through Facebook Live. We'll reach out to you through YouTube because we love you guys and thank you so much for wishing me happy birthday and uh, God bless. Have a good night. And make sure you guys follow him on Instagram too. He has an Instagram now. Chris underscore Dufresne underscore SPG. So just go give him a follow. You can see more of him on his birthday <laughs> next in a few days. Okay? You guys